Hey everyone, I'm Jody. I'm Justin. This is Alien Donuts, and we are Board Game Perspective. Mm -hmm. I picked this up today from, um, not Barnes & Noble, Books, Books a Million. Million. And this, oh my gosh, is like full of gel. It's a sensory thing, but it's this donut that is really squishy, and it's an alien. So today in this video, we're going to talk about what turned out to be 10 games that we've been playing over the past few months. We left out games that we kind of talked about recently the past several months with reviews or keeper cool with I think the exception of one game I just I had to include it on this list or, or talk about it a little bit more I just had to mm -hmm. so there's 10 person. games that we kind of been you know hanging out and playing with friends and haven't really talked about it as much on some videos lately I don't think but um let's get right into it shall we mm -hmm. yeah, yeah 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 you want to start over there I have fewer games okay well then I'll start over here uh, Malim Space Agency. Malim. We've actually talked about this. I don't. I don't know what video. Maybe acquired. I don't recall. All I know is that I've just been having so much fun with this game. It's a uh, from Rebel Studio. It's p definitely a push your luck game with a crazy theme of cats in space. It's fun. But the production I think is really good for the price point. This large game mat is so cool. I love it. I, I, everyone we've played with so far has enjoyed this game. I think so, but I mean, it's just, it's, it's a lot of good stuff. I mean, you kind of, you have to choose which cat you're going to put on the rocket and then... Place them in the rocket, roll the dice, and choose results wisely, because if you don't roll the required results of where you are, then the rocket might crash. Crash. And you travel as far as possible and score points. You're going to be dropping off your cat astronauts in different moons and planets, and there could Comments. be a majority and stuff like that, and you uh, have the risk of crashing. So it's like, do you want to jump off or push your luck a little more so you can get a little bit higher? It's a lot of fun. And there's some uh, little additional variants that you can include in this game as well, like UFOs. <laughs> space creatures, space donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Anyway. Uh, this is just a, been a fun game. We've been enjoying this a lot. Yeah. Milan. I like saying the name. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Milan. All right. Let's go. You pick one. I want to keep this on my side. Cats in space. Meow. All right. Up next, we have Emerge. Is it Emerge or Emerge? Oh, it doesn't matter. Emerge? emerge. I say Emerge. So this is, you basically are discovering a chain of islands, and this is, you know, some more dice placement a little bit, and I think this production is also really nice. It's kind of what originally attracted me to this game was how it looked, and you like the way it looks too, right? Like the art style and the graphics and such? Yeah. Uh, no, it, somewhat. Like... I do like it, but they're, they're, I feel like it's lacking something, and I can't put my finger on what it is. Well, I'm not talking about the gameplay. Are you talking about the gameplay? Nope. Talking about the art. Oh, okay. Well, I think it's cool when you're done, because you see um, all these different islands with different animals on. Like, to start, it looks kind of bland. It's pretty boring. Yeah. But when you're at the end of the game, you, you're growing yeah. these islands. Yeah, that, that's cool. So, each round, you earn points by using your dice to collect research and make discoveries. Uh, the board will grow the islands in three dimensions you're putting plants and animals and yeah i think it's a nice family weight it's nothing crazy and yeah i think we've i've enjoyed it yeah it was a good one uh one of those that you know it, it's definitely a nice family weight game for sure yeah from definitely. pandasaurus games yeah all right this one you know you actually haven't played it yet still need to Maybe we can play it tomorrow night when uh, for game night, because I I played this a handful of times at this point, and I've been having a lot of fun. I've actually played this a lot with my parents, because nice. it's like one <laughs> one of the games they I can I, I can get them to play very few games, and and this one I was like, come on, try it. You just can't stop rolling dice. So this is this is all it is is a dice rolling push your luck game. I mean it's it's really fun. So. Uh, on your turn, you roll the four dice to make two pairs, and then you're going to advance your markers up the number columns according to your rolls, and you're trying to be the first to make it to the top of three columns, and then you win. So there's uh, the numbers range from 2 to 12, so 
uh, you know, there's longer paths for the more common rules and less for like two and 12. There's like two spots and you're just trying to get the pairs right and move your markers up and you know, it's push your luck because you can keep rolling or Can't you stop. can bust. Can't stop. Can't, Can't stop. stop. But this is just a fun game. I wanted to try this. I, this is an older game. It's been around for a while and I've heard people talk about it. I'm like, you know what? I saw it in... I get these stores mixed up. Barnes and Noble. And I was like, yeah, we're definitely gonna try this. And so, yeah, you need you still gotta try this. I think you might like it. It's just lighthearted fun. Lighthearted fun. Doesn't need a song. Mm. Alright. And then we've got oh, Planet. More space. Unknown. This is a alien planet of donuts. <coughs> we got this played in again. This I is, like this. Uh, it's such a good game. I like this. Polyomino game. If you guys have not tried this yet, and you like polyomino games, this is so worth the try. You have this Lazy Susan. Yeah, it's a really cool way of cho of picking, you know, getting your pieces. You know, somebody's, it's their turn, and they spin it one way, but then the other players have to take whatever's in front of them. But there's like, there's like uh, two options. There's a options. couple of options, but yeah. But it's it's interesting in trying to play with that little, uh, that variable. It's and there's really, all really kinds cool. of different planets for variations of maps. So there's a little, you know, asymmetry and the corporation board, you're moving up tracks. And because of that, there's no downtime. Yeah, I there's mean, no it's, downtime, it's, so. it's cool. And I just love moving the rover. Like you have a rover that comes out, or multiple, and they move around the pieces to like collect things and... I think it's really cool. It's a good, it's a good, good game. Planet unknown. All right, let's. Uh, okay, let. So let's go to the one game that I just had to talk about again. This was on the l the latest video, Keeper Cool, and I just had to bring it out again because I mean, who doesn't want to talk about Clash of Cultures Monumental Edition? This was so much fun, and I still just want to talk about it. <laughs> I, I really mission to play it again, like, right now. So, uh, if you don't re remember, it says you're exploring your lands, building out cities, advancing your civilization, and there's tons of miniatures in this version. It looks so cool. And your player board has all kinds of upgrades that you can do. And I just love it. If you heard that, we got like some awesome storms going on right now. Thunder. It's pretty sweet. I hope it doesn't wake up baby though. Man, this this version is so cool. I never played the original Clash of Cultures. Like this is the you know more recent version from WizKids. But wow, I love this so much and I cannot wait to play it again. Maybe I'll get you to try it at least one time. That's what you say. Alright, go. Go. Wait, where's the donut? Oh, give me the donut. All right, coming back to Earth. Oh, that was so good. Right, I really right. like that was a good one. Wow. So, I can't this is Earth. How, I can't get over how good that was. Ah, I made it funny. <laughs> back to Earth. So this is smushed. this is Earth, and you're literally kind of building up your ecosystems, and you've got this tableau that you're building, and it all kind of works together, and you work your way down. And, and this is another one where there's no downtime, which I, I love. I love it when games have no downtime. Simultaneous actions stuff, because like, whatever the action the player chooses, they get something, but everyone else gets something a little bit lesser than. Yeah. This is we played that we played this a lot. I feel like we played this many, past several months. Many times. <clears throat> yeah. It's so good. Like I, I want to play it again right now. Yeah, I'm a fan of this game. Like pretty, pretty good fan. And it's gorgeous. And we do have the mats. Actually, didn't this, I think this made it in my top ten. Yeah. I think Earth made it in my top ten. We have the mats. Have we shown the mats before? Pro probably. I can't remember. Let's get them out real quick and show them. Okay. In case, in case you're not familiar, there are gay mats that you can get. Um, and they're just gorgeous. So they have your um, different scenes of Earth places. Got the title, huge wave, man. Surf's up, dude. Yeah, and it's just so fun to put all these awesome, beautiful cards on this area. And I like having designated spaces when you're building out like a tableau of cards and such. 
Anyway. And the photography is great. Love it. Yeah, it's such a good game. Love it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. We're we going back to space. Oh, of course. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna break my back. Oh boy. Got it in the. I've I've had a few plays of this the past few months, and man, I just love this game. As y'all have known, if you watched our top 10, this is my current number two game. And wow, I love this. Epic Space 4X game. Uh, competitive, cooperative, and solo game modes, which I don't know if I'll ever play other than competitive. But there's a lot of different scenarios, different map setups if you want lower aggression, like player interaction and, or more. I mean, there's still always that void born that you're... You, that you're gonna be fighting and stuff, but man, I love I love this genre of game so much, and this is currently my favorite Space Forex game. Whoa! But yeah, this is I mean this is epic. So this is a uh, let me read it here. A deep empire customization of the forex genre with the resource management, tight decisions, and minimum luck gameplay of an economic Euro style game. Oh. That is Voidfall. I'll stop talking. Oh. Exciting. If anyone is in near Gainesville, Florida, and you want to play a Voidfall, let me know. Mm. I'm ready. Because he, he, he ain't. I won't. I think it's number 583 on my list of games. <laughs> I think it's on negative. Yeah. What, do you not have any more? I have one. All right, we'll yes. talk. We'll talk briefly about this because we talk about it every time we talk about games. Yeah, this is Dice Throne. But, we love Dice Throne. But I think we're both excited now that we're done with Dice Throne Adventures. We're we just, just gonna we're just gonna Throne. get back to basic Dice Throne, and so I think we're gonna be getting more plays of Dice Throne again because there's been a lot more of uh, Dice Throne Adventures when we played Dice Throne, and I'm ready to play just good old basic Dice Throne. Get some Santa and Krampus and. Paladin and Pyromancer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some alien donuts, maybe? Alien donut. We are supposed to be getting the Marvel, all that Marvel goodness. Any idea when that's coming? Actually, I don't know. I haven't checked. But all the Marvel Dice Throne stuff, we, we are getting. I mean, that's one of our all time favorite games, so. Yep. Okay. This right here contains cards. I didn't include the um, other thing, but I just figured this might be cooler to look at. Oh, you just dumped oh, it. Oh! That's like the rule book and for Star Wars Unlimited. We played a handful of games and um, yeah, I've been really liking this a lot. I actually recently just got a um, really cool play mat, which I'll probably show y'all down the road. but. Uh, yeah, we both, I think you've played it some with me too, mm -hmm. and uh, we've been enjoying Star Wars Unlimited. It's funny, it's interesting how sometimes though, it's like, it really depends on kind of your hand and what you get, because one, one game, I just totally thrashed her, and then the very next game, she absolutely thrashed me. It was like, well. Well, I mean, you also can do that mulligan in the beginning if you don't like your hand of cards. Yeah, but I think Which even with makes the, a difference. even with the set of cards that I got, I, I didn't well, really know. That's, you just probably didn't make wise decisions. I make great decisions. I probably outmaneuvered you. Great decisions. What about when I crushed you? All right. Anyway, I made poor decisions. You outmaneuvered me. All right. Apiary, bees in space. Bzz. A Stonemaier game that I really have been enjoying a lot. This is a really wait. You didn't. Were you neutral on this game? I can't remember. I think I was like oh, so so. Okay, I don't I don't have to play it again. I think it's really cool. I love the way it looks. I love the bee workers. Um, each of your workers increase in strength, which improves the action benefit and access. And once they get to what was it four or something, they like hibernate. I think it's awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, if you like worker placement games, I think this is totally one to try. Great production, good gameplay. I really also, I just love things where you can build out kind of your own, well, in this case, it's like your own hive. You're putting out tiles and building out stuff. I just, I love that in games. Whether it's like tableau with cards or tiles, building out something. I just really enjoy that. And plus the worker placement. Yes. 
This I mean, is. I mean, it looks cool. Oh uh, yeah, I, I love the way it looks. I mean, as weird as these in space is, it looks cool. Yes. Anyway, I need some. I some of these like companies need to make T-shirts for some of their games because like if there was like an AP, apiary T-shirt like look like that, I would wear it. You would wear a B with a space. Yes. On it? Yes. Oh. I would totally wear. I love T-shirts. And I would totally wear t-shirts of like some of these cool games. Actually, actually, oh, actually there are Dice Throne t-shirts. Dice Throne t-shirts. Would you wear a Dice Throne t-shirt? Probably not. <laughs> I would. All right, so um, let's talk about real quick. We're just going to list them off. Some other games that we played, but there's been in like reviews or Keeper Cole. Um, so Tiny Epic Vikings, that was a surprise one for you. Mm -hmm. um, a Tiny Epic game that we actually kind of like. Crokinole, good old dexterity. I like Crokinole. Clicking game, we've got some of that in. Gods Love Dinosaurs, that was in a recent Keeper Cole video. Did I play that? Yes. I don't even we know. both culled it. Okay. Remember, you you have the prey and the predators and the dinosaurs. And yeah. They're moving around and populating okay. and eating each other and dying and surviving. Got all it. that stuff. Yeah, it, was, it was a good family, family game, but yep. we don't need it. Project Eos Rise was a review. That was a space game with lots of stuff going on. Not your, uh, not up your alley at all. The White Castle, love, love, love. Go check out the review. It was not too long ago. Atlantis Rising was also a cooperative game. That's been on some videos. And then Chess Plus. I think that was on a Keeper Cole. That was that that chess game where you can combine pieces. Yeah. Essentially, the pieces that you put out are like half of pieces, and then they can be put onto the same space and combined so that it has the powers of, or the movements of both pieces. We got Cue Birds, a uh, cute little set collection game. Espania 1936, long, kind of epic y war game. Good game if you like a long game. and Based off the Spanish War. Yeah. I, I think it's a good production. Um, check out our review on that if you want more info. Heat Pedal to the Metal fun that was a surprise i because i don't like racing games a whole lot uh and i'm not always wanting to try it but i had heard all the buzz i heard it was a really hot game and uh so we tried it because some friends had it hot game heat yes, I, to the yes metal. I, I put that in there all the buzz <laughs> all right so um you really liked that game yeah that was that was a really fun game i i definitely much want, want to try it again and um, our friends have the expansion, too, so maybe we can try that sometime. I got to try Star Trek Ascendancy, another spacey 4X game. I love those. I'm not a Star Trek person. Like I, I don't even know if I've ever watched anything Star Trek. But I, we played the game, and it, I, it was fun. It's not my favorite of the genre, but I still enjoyed it. Like, you are building out these systems. Like, the board doesn't exist. You are literally putting out these pathways and the the systems, like planets or whatever, and it just kind of all forms at the end. It's really cool how it does that. But uh, I finally got to try it. I tried it, and it was fun. Cool. And then Trash Pandas. Super light. Super luck. Just I, raccoon game with dice. I don't, I don't remember. Even, <laughs> yeah, it's just a really light card game that's, you know. You're, like, stashing stuff, and, you know, yeah, it's super light, but... You want to get rid of it. I kept it because it's cute for now, I think, right? I think it's over there. Jalen plays with it a lot. <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> yeah, it's one of hers that she likes to get out and just kind of mess around with. Anyway, let us know what are some games you've been playing the past several months that you've been having lots of fun with or think, think that we should try. Uh, we're definitely open to ideas and suggestions. So, suggestions. suggestions. But, um, yeah, guys, uh, let us know which ones out of these you're most interested in. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. And uh, this Alien Donut may or may not be here. <laughs>